everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is dina and in this video i'm going to be doing a what's in my purse featuring the tory birch kira chevron purse in the color metal sweet i believe it's what it is so yeah let's go ahead and get started so uh, this is the purse here today is sunday and i wore it to church so i thought it would be a great opportunity to go ahead and show you guys what I keep in this bag. As you can see, this purse um, is fairly large in my opinion, and it can hold quite a bit. So yeah, um, it does have this type of shoulder strap. It's the kind where you can kind of adjust it. It can go from a crossbody to a shoulder bag. Um, so I really do like that. And the strap is fairly long for those of you who are on the taller side when you wear a crossbody, at least for me anyways, when I wear it, it hits um, a little bit below my hips actually. So I do actually like to um, prefer to wear it as just a shoulder bag. I am 5'6 too. So um, yeah, let's get started with what is inside. I'm gonna try my best to hold the bag up the whole time, but bear with me if it goes below view but I will try my best to make sure that it is in the um, camera so yeah let's get started it does have a magnetic opening um, and it's very easy as you just saw for it to go ahead and um, you know close and it's um, it's not hard to open it either so this is what you see in my bag as soon as you open it and we're gonna go ahead and get started back here um, there is a zipper pocket back here, but I do not keep anything back there at all. Yeah, there's nothing back there. But just wanted to show you guys um, the compartments of the bag. So yeah, let's get started with what is back here behind this middle zipper compartment. First things first is this big old thing. I have um, gotten my braces taken out and I do not have to wear my retainers pretty much 24 seven unless I'm eating. Um, so yeah, so I take this with me so that if I'm out and I need to eat, I can go ahead and remove my retainers, put them in here so that I'm not like, just putting it away on like a napkin or anything and then accidentally throw it away. Um, so yeah, retainers are expensive and I do not wanna lose them. So this is why I now opt to carry this case everywhere I go. But yeah, that was my first thing in here. Next thing back there that I see is my touched in hand sanitizer in the scent rose water. And this is literally almost done as you can see. I love this thing. Um, so I did re-up on these hand sanitizers because they're my favorite. Um, let's see what else is back there. I have my Chanel compact mirror, which I really like. Um, I love having this in my bag like every bag I carry, it comes in handy. It's just a nice mirror. Then I have this K Alley um, perfume. This is the newer um, pistachio gelato scent. And I must say, I actually really love this. You guys know how I feel about K Alley. I feel like they have some beautiful scents. Yeah, this scent, this is like going to probably be my signature spring summer scent because I really love it that much. Um, it's literally a, um, oh, I'm so sorry about the lighting change. I'm using natural light, of course, and then the windows are behind me too. So there's that. But yeah, like it's, um, it's definitely a scent you have to s smell. Um, but I blindly just ordered it. I didn't smell it first and I thankfully love it. So yeah, I can't really describe, I'm not good at describing like notes and all that stuff. That's not my thing, but I just know it smells good. It smells really good, it smells yummy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, then I have some oil absorbing wipes. I like to always have these with me, especially when I'm um, wearing makeup. I have some oil absorbing wipes with me by Clean and Clear. Then I have my um, Patrick Ta um, 
lip gloss. I really do like this. Um, one of my issues with this though, is if you don't close this properly, like it will literally just make a mess in your bag. Um, it's not making a mess right now, but like, you have to be careful with this one. Then back here, I have this right here. This bag is kind of big to be holding up, I'm telling you. I have this, this is um, some cuticle oil. It looks like nail polish, but it's cuticle oil that I use to put around my cuticles because um, I don't like having dry cuticles, dry hands in general. Then I have my key fob to my car. I also have this nail file. I have this right here, which is um, important to have, I believe, because ladies do not put your bags on the floor. I like to use this, oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry. I like to use this to um, hold up my purse. If I'm at a restaurant and there's like not extra seating or anything and I don't want to put my purse up on the table because it's going to take up a lot of space, I use this to just hook it up to um, hang it on the table. So that way I'm not putting it on the floor. Last but not least, in this back pop, well no, I have two more things. I have my um, black opium travel size perfume. It's a, um, a dabber, so you just like dab it on, it doesn't spray on, but I love this scent, so I do like to carry this with me as well. And then last but not least now, I have my AirPods in this case. Um, I got that I got from Amazon. And that is all that was back there. And in this middle zip pocket, I have a lip gloss by Laniche or Laneche, however you pronounce it. Um, it's in the scent grapefruit. I do like that one quite a bit too. Sorry for the lighting changing. Then I have an eyeliner and a lip liner by NYX, a brown lip liner. This is in the color of espresso. Oh my goodness, the sunlight. And that is all that was in that pocket. And then we move on to up here. So in this front pocket here, there's like two slots that appear to be like card slots that you can put cards in. Um, and in there, I just have some receipts. I went to Macy's after church and I'm just giving the receipts just in case I need to return something. And I have nothing in that pocket. So I have, this is like flopping over now. So I'm probably gonna have to just put her down or just like hold it like that. I now have um, my Nolita 15 from Coast that was in there. Um, and in here, I kind of just use this as a toiletry pouch. In here, what I have is a hand cream by Bath & Body Works. This is in the scent Waikiki Beach Coconut. And it's just their um, hand cream. Um, and it's a great size. It fits in like literally all my bags. And then I have some Tylenol. I always like to carry Tylenol with me in case I get a headache or it's that time of the month. Um, in here, I have also a Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, just in case, this one's almost done. So just in case I run out of this one, I have my backup. Um, I also have some more travel size perfumes or um, sample perfumes. Um, I have On the Beach by Louis Vuitton, which smells okay, but it's not my favorite. Um, then I have this right here, Maison Lui Mali. It's a perfume oil, little sample. I believe I got this from Sephora. You know, when you order something from Sephora, you get the little samples. So that's where I got that from. And then I have the Apogee from Louis Vuitton as well. And this scent is okay too, not the greatest to me, but yeah. So I have those three in there. As you can tell, I do like to smell good when I can. <laughs> I do like to just like have these to put me just to spray because I just like it. Then I have some alcohol um, pads. 
and I use this to clean my AirPods. And then of course, like if something happens and I, um, you know, need to sanitize, I need to have um, some Band-Aids. So I could also use that along with those Band-Aids. I have some poopery. I have, um, when I have my braces, whatever I like ate, I would have some food stuck in there. So I have this um, just to clean in between my teeth. I have some feminine wipes from Summer's Eve. And then last but not least, I have a nail glue because I am now currently wearing press-ons. I used to get my nails done, but my work, I work in a NICU, I'm a nurse in the NICU, and we are absolutely not allowed to have any um, nail polish um, or any kind of anything on our nails. Our nails are supposed to be completely bare. So no gel polish, no acrylic, no nothing. So I have been opting for press-ons when I am not working. Um, and we know how press-ons work. Sometimes you're just gonna need to, you know, glue on a nail and put it back on. So that's why I have that. And we are empty in here, except for the sample perfumes that I just put back in that slot there. And that is it for my No Lady 15. Um, now, the two last things we have in here are my Louis Vuitton key pouch, um, which I keep my extra cards in and three keys, key to my house, key to my mailbox, key to my parents' house, and then just extra cards, which I won't be taking out, obviously. And then last but not least in this bag, I have my wallet, my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, which I love. Um, any of you who've watched my videos have heard me talk about this quite a bit. This is my absolute favorite wallet um, in it. I just keep my cards, obviously. I love that it has this slot for cash and your cash doesn't have to be like folded up. So I really do like that. And then you have this slot here that you could put coins in, but I just put extra cards in there as well. So yeah, you guys, that was everything that was in my purse. Now I will say this bag can hold quite a bit. I have even put my iPad mini in this purse along with um, majority of the things that I have here. So yeah, I 100% recommend this bag and I just, I just love it. I love the way it feels um, and it just holds up pretty well. I don't, um, wear this bag frequently. I don't use this like as an everyday bag. Um, so that's probably why it has, that has contributed to it holding up so well. But yeah, overall I would say it's in perfect condition and it's a great purse to have. But all right guys, this is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.